gentlemen, on the scoreboard tonight, the Lake City Tigers will be the home team, and Garfield of the Indians will be the visiting team. And now, as he has done since 1939, to introduce the starting lineups for tonight's game, here is Julie Pearl. Thank you, Rob. Circumstances prevented me from being here this year, but if you fans and the high school league, and the Lord willing, I'll be back next year. Here are your starting lineups. Starting for Butterfield Old Indians, 2A champions. Winners over Clara City, 80 to 52. Coach Al Cassidy. At the forwards, number 42, six foot four senior, Kyle Myers. Forward, number 54, six foot one senior, Larry Hempeck. At center, number 44, six foot seven senior, Brian Langland. Guards, number 24, Brad, what? Brad Flater, 5 foot 10 junior. And the other guard, number 12, 5 foot 8 junior, Don Lynchard. And the rest of the squad. Starting for the Lake City Tigers, Class 1A champions. 48 42 winner over Glencoe, coached by Jerry Snyder. At the forwards, number 13, six foot three senior, Steve Willers. Forward, number 31, six foot one junior, Pat Kennedy. Randy Brewer, at center, number 45, seven foot junior. Five foot eleven senior, Great Powers. At guard, number forty three, five foot eleven senior, Bill Anderson. Hold up. The officials for our game tonight: Jim Plotnick and Bob Schweiger. Good grief, after all that, that may be the highlight of the tournament, just being introduced by Julie Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Langland, number 44, will jump center for Butterfield Odin against Randy Brewer of Lake City. Lake City in the dark uniforms, they are clad in bright orange, and Butterfield Odin will be in the white uniforms. Lake City moving right to left on your screen, Butterfield Odin left to right. The ball in the near corner, Bill Anderson with it underneath, and Randy Brewer has his first bucket of the game, and Lake City leads it two to nothing. So they go to Brewer early, and he hits his first shot. Just underway. Lineshide. Off the rim, no good, and the rebound controlled by Lake City's Bill Anderson. Anderson, who had a hot hand yesterday, comes up with the first rebound. Willers brings it back out in front to Anderson from the far side. Powers puts it up and in. Lake City's two for two from the field, and you can't shoot any better than that. Four nothing. That was a brilliant statement, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Underneath. And Brewer there in front and behind to make the defensive play was Steve Willers. <clears throat> Hempeck to jump against Willers. Willers 6-3, Hempeck 6-1. And the tap controlled by Butterfield Oden. They bring it right back at front. Flater with it. Brad Flater, Linshide in the lane, Myers around and off, no good, and the rebound is pulled in by Willers. So Lake City, 23 and one on the year with a four nothing lead. They have the ball in the front court. Anderson's shot comes off and the rebound hauled in by Langland. Fast break down court, Linshide to Myers and they have their first two points. Kyle Myers, he hit 29 yesterday. 4-2, favor of Lake City. As we anticipated. 
Butterfield Odin putting pressure on the guards. This is Willers. It comes off, he gets his own rebound. Again, he goes up with it. Rebound belongs to Butterfield Odin. And we have a traveling call. Well, you can see right off that Butterfield Odin is trying to get Lake City to run. Lake yep. City doesn't want to do that, and Butterfield Odin is going to try and determine the pace of this game. If it's fast, of course, it's to their advantage. Well, Clara City tried to get him to run yesterday, and they couldn't do it. Couldn't get enough rebounds. Here's Brewer. Two for two. He has four points. Lake City leads it six to two. 5.50 left to go first quarter. Just underway. It's Brad Flater out front. Little cleanup operation directed by Flater. Dumps it off on the side. Gets it back. Underneath Langland. Found him sleep. A sleeper underneath. Both teams are playing 2-3 zone, so similarly in defense. 6-4, Lake City leads it. Good pass by Flater. Willers in the corner. Bring it back out to Anderson. He puts it up. Only the second shot missed by Lake City. Well, Larry Hempeck went in for the layup, and it wouldn't go down for him. So still 6-4. Lake City leads it by two with five minutes left first quarter. They dump it underneath, trying to get it to Brewer, intercepted by Myers. Kyle Myers dumps it off to Flater. Far corner, they get it underneath to Langland, trying to go over Brewer. Brewer blocks it. Well, that's the first of that we've had, and we'll see how that affects his game. Probably not the last. Willers in the corner. They get it to Brewer. This one comes out. Whistle. We'll have a foul call, and it will be an offensive foul. Well done, Craig Powers. On the rebound, Powers is number 11 from behind right there. That's his first personal, his team's first as well. Well, Butterfield Odin with a chance to tie it for the first time. Lake City has led all the way. They get it in the middle to Langland. He brings it back out to Myers and blocked again by Brewer. Second block shot by Randy Brewer here in the first quarter. Anderson holds it up. Powers over to Anderson. Now that's blocked by Myers. He starts Flater back. Linscheid dumps it in the middle, and Lake City comes out with it. Willers. So a couple of turnovers, one for each team. 3.50 left in the first quarter. 6-4. Lake City leads it by two. Powers in the corner to Willers. Brewer reaching in Langland. That's first, going to be Butterfield Odin's problem, staying out of foul uh, trouble. Uh, first personal for Langland. They tried to come around Brewer, but not quickly enough. There's a timeout on the floor. The score. Lake City, six. Butterfield Odin, four. Lake City to toss it in. They get it in on the corner. Anderson out front. Far corner with it. Willers intercepted by Langland. A lot, uh, Roger, I feel, and the outcome of this game is going to hinge on Brian Langland and his oh. battle with Randy Brewer underneath. I Re agree. Rebound Just controlled by Craig Powers. Butterfield Odin uh, has a very sound strategy. They decided that when you have a player like Brewer capable of dominating a game, if we're going to lose, we're going to make somebody else beat us. That's right. They're going at Brewer. They're, they're making him play defense, and so far he's doing a good job of it. He's blocked a couple of shots already. They get it in the middle. Willers blocked away by Langland. Flater, two on one with Linscheid. Flater takes it all the way, it comes out. And a rebound by Craig Powers of Lake City. Still 6-4. The Tigers lead it by two with 2.57 left first quarter. Powers, rebound Brewer. Rebound Langland for, Lake, or for Butterfield Odin. Flater trying to get it moving and he fired it behind Hempeck who was breaking towards the basket. Well, Butterfield Odin obviously in a big hurry and it's hurt them. They've missed two layups and they're throwing it away there. So that's three chances down floor that they could have scored. Well, I think they figured they can get down yep. the court before Randy Brewer catches up. They got a crack at putting it up and maybe getting a second shot. Precisely. Powers to Brewer. Oh, Randy oh, Brewer dominating this game so far. I think far more than he did yesterday's contest. He has six points and he is three out of four from the field. Flater. Cuts the margin to two again. 8-6. Oh, 
Butterfield Odin has not led yet. Kyle Myers has four points. Brewer and Hempeck came in, did a good job of making Brewer give up the ball. From out front, that one won't go down, put up by Pat Kennedy. And Butterfield Odin now with a chance to tie it. Later in the corner, and they throw it away again. Now Cassidy and the Butterfield Odin bench uh, really upset. They're just in too big a hurry. It's fine to get down court. They're going to have to slow it down it a little well. bit. They yep. can get down court and then be a little bit more methodical about it. 135 left. Here's Brewer again. It goes. He's four out of five from the field. And Lake City leads again by four, 10 to six. 125 left first quarter. Trying to get it under Langland. It's knocked out of bounds. Deflected out by Pat Kennedy. Myers will put it in play. Linshide into Myers. Trying to dump it back to Linshide, and it's taken away by Kennedy. Kennedy, the point man. Into Brewer again. Five field goals and six attempts for Randy Brewer. And Lake City leads it 12 to 6. That's their biggest lead. Langland. Flater. Off the back bracket. Loose ball. Myers with it. Fade away jump. Trying to go over Brewer. And Brewer rebounds. There was a pretty good example of what we spoke about just prior to the game. He had to get that ball over Randy Brewer, and when you're up in the air falling away like that, that takes a lot of muscle. Brewer again. This one doesn't go. So he's five out of seven here in the first quarter. Linshide. Slater has the rebound. Finds himself with Randy Brewer in front and travels. Butterfield Odin guilty of several turnovers here in the first quarter, and it's hurt him so far. They're going to take one shot, as you see Jerry Snyder indicating, with just 15 seconds remaining in the period. 12-6. Lake City leads it. Clock down to six seconds. They'll try to go to Brewer with it. They do. It's deflected, intercepted. Myers with two seconds. He's going to have to get it off. Does it? Oh! Well, that'll take your breath away. That's the end of the first quarter. The score. Lake City 12 and Butterfield Odin 6. 12 6. Lake City leads Butterfield Odin at the end of a period. It's pretty apparent, I think, that the only way to play Lake City is to play one man in front of Brewer, one man behind him, and dare everybody else to beat you. Lake City controls the opening tap of the second quarter. Randy Brewer with 10 out of the 12 Lake City points. doing exactly what you're talking about or they were momentarily Myers in front Langland behind Brewer right now trying to force him away from the basket if they can Lake City very patiently trying to work it in Kennedy to Anderson almost taken away powers with it from the corner Kennedy for two Pat Kennedy has his first field goal. It is 14 to 6 now. An eight-point lead for Lake City. Their biggest of the game. Lake City, I think, Roger, so far, much more impressive than they were yesterday. The other four are much more impressive yes. than they were yesterday, very honestly. Appear to be over the tournament jitters and moving much better. Myers. Myers. Kyle Myers has six points. Margin is back to six, 14 to eight with seven minutes to go in the first half. Kennedy dumps it off to Powers. Willers, Kennedy, Anderson out front from 19. Rebound belongs to Flater of Butterfield Oden. And he threw it away again. And then the man that intercepted Willers traveled with the basketball. Well, another one of those instances in Butterfield Oden being in too much of a hurry, but that time they got a break as Lake City turned it back to them. Now they're going to. They're trying to force it a little bit too much, too. Langland moves right down the pipe. He has four. 14 to 10. Butterfield Odin as close as they've been for a while. Lake City's biggest lead, eight points. They get it into Brewer. He's got 12. 
He's hit six out of eight shots from the field, and the lead up to six again at 16 to 10. Myers, it comes off, and the rebound comes to Anderson for Lake City. The Tigers with a chance to match their biggest margin now. 16 to 10, six minutes to go, first half of play. Out front to Anderson. Powers. In the corner, Kennedy. Rebound to Butterfield Oden. Linshad with it. Flater, he'll slow it down this time. Lake City in that zone. Linshide way short, and Brewer has it. 5.39 left in the half. Kennedy on the right side, about 30 feet away. Anderson, baseline near side, Kennedy again. They're keeping Brewer at the low post, breaking a man across the top. Anderson. That's Bill Anderson's first field goal. He was deadly from outside yesterday, Raj, and really helped Lake City out. Myers and Flater. 18 to 10. Lake City leads by eight. Third block shot of the game by Randy Brewer. Seven foot, one half inch. We spent a lot of time talking about him prior to the game, and now you get a pretty good idea of why. The dominating force so far in this one. This time the turnover is by Lake City. 18 to 10. Brad Flater back into the front court for Butterfield Oden with 4.38 left in the half. Langland's going to have to try to go over Brewer, and he draws the foul. And that's one thing they would like to do. Randy Brewer's first foul. First, second team foul. Langland goes right up. Most frequently what an offensive player can do in that situation, when you get the ball and you're going to go up, lean a little bit, lean into that defensive player, yeah. because nine times out of ten, the offense will get the call. Well, if he's Lose moving, body. If he's moving at all, he's going to get the foul. Langland misses the first free throw. Score holds at 18 to 10. Langland has four points. He has five. 18-11. Seven-point margin, Lake City. They started out with a two to nothing lead and have not been tied since. Boyd Snyder is in the game now for Lake City, number 25. Randy Brewer in the corner. Kennedy, loose ball, and Langland comes away with it. Flater hustles it into the front court. Backs off, wait for everybody to get set. Myers. Forces his shot a little bit, and Brewer has yet another rebound. Four minutes left in the half. Seven-point lead, Lake City at 18 to 11. Anderson from about 28, won't go down. And Flater comes away with it for Butterfield Oden. And now they'll slow it up as Brewer gets down. One-hander put up by Roar. Larry and Hempeck makes the follow-up. Oh, I see that in replay. <laughs> 18 to 13, five point. Lake City lead. Closest Butterfield Odin has been able to get has been four points since the outset. To Brewer. This one comes off. That's the third shot he's missed. Couldn't hear Larry Hempeck. Well, that's the, uh, the, the fade back fall down slap in. <laughs> yep, that's in the playbook. It's a patented play, right? <laughs> Myers, turnaround jumper, good. 18-15, three-point lead Lake City. The Indians of Butterfield Odin creeping back. Willers in the corner. Kennedy. They bring it out front to Anderson. Snyder. Front of the rim. Flater. Two on two break. He'll slow it up. 2.29 left in the first half. Butterfield Oden with a chance to cut it to one. And a rebound belongs to Willers. So Lake City back. And they're going to go to the bench and talk things over. With Jerry Snyder, there's a timeout on the floor. The score, 
Lake City 18 and Butterfield Odin 15. Gets it to Pat Kennedy, receives the return pass. We're back to action with 2.08 left to go, first half of this one. Three point lead for Lake City, and the ball saved from going out of bounds. Line play by Flater. Little guy hurled himself about 20 feet off the court, but his feet never touched until the ball came back into bounds. Langland at the baseline, another block by Brewer. Langland gets it back. Flater comes off, no good. Rebound, Langland up and in. Langland has six, seven points now, and suddenly Butterfield Odin is back within a point at 18 to 17. Lake City has not been headed since the outset. We have a minute and a half to go, first half. Anderson in and out. Brewer has it knocked away by Hempeck. And Flater comes back with Butterfield Odin now, a chance to take the lead for the first time in the game. Langland. Goes in against Brewer, and Brewer partially deflected it. That'll be his fifth block shot of the game. That's a whole ball game's worth for a lot of people. We still have a minute to go in the first half. Kennedy to Anderson. Willers in the far corner. 30 feet away, Pat Kennedy. They come to the near side. Randy Brewer with it. Two more, and he's fouled. Plastic foul. One for I think it's Kyle Myers, number 42, Kyle coming up behind him right there. He's first, and it shows what can happen. They've been working like crazy against the guy and doing a good job, but he gets yep. the ball and bing. You just got to keep it away from him. 14 points for Randy Brewer, 15. And the Lake City lead. Goes back up to four points at 21, 17. Randy Brewer with 15 points and a turnover by Butterfield Odin. That, when you've got a seven foot center on the other side, is something you can't afford is to turn over the ball. Lake City's going to go for one shot. Kennedy out front with it. 18 seconds. Seven seconds. Powers, Kennedy, Anderson from about 28. Off the rim, no good as the buzzer sounds. That's the end of the first half. The score, Lake City 21, Butterfield Odin 17. Langland at 6'7", against Brewer at seven foot, one half inch. Tap controlled by, this time, Butterfield Odin. Winshied puts it up, and Brewer has his ninth rebound of the game. Seven forty-three left, third quarter. Lake City has the ball. Willers in the far corner. Kennedy with it. Powers back to Willers. They work it around. They want to get it into Randy Brewer if they can. Anderson, Kennedy for Brewer. Two more. Brewer has 17. 23-17. Lake City opens up a six-point lead again. Early here in the third quarter. Lynchai. Almost out of bounds was Langland. In the middle, Langland will have a jump ball. Hempeck, or no, not Hempeck, excuse me. That's uh, Bill Anderson and Langland. Anderson's 5'11". Langland with a eight-point. Their eight inch reach advantage on him. He's six seven. They get it underneath to Myers. He has to take it back out because Brewer is there. From atop the key, Flater. Flater with the basket. Brad Flater with his first field goal of the game. He has two points. It's 23 19. Four point lead again. Four. Lake City. Kennedy. Anderson. Powers from about 23. Brewer rebounds, comes off, and a rebound this time to Langland. Long down court pass to Linshide. He puts it up. Won't go. Re rebound off the legs of one of the Butterfield Odin players, and the ball belongs to Lake City. Full court press now for Butterfield Odin. First time they've tried that tactic tonight. 
23-19, four-point lead, Lake City with 6-20. And they're having some trouble with it. Now they spot Willers down court. Two on one, Willers puts it up and in. Twenty five nineteen again a six point lead for Lake City their biggest has been eight that comes back out Kennedy has the rebound for Lake City Willers Kennedy from about 20 and the rebound belongs to Myers down court pass is too long for Linshad. And Butterfield Odin continues to turn the ball over. In their haste to try to get something going before Brewer can get back up court, they have thrown the ball away continuously tonight. Willers in the corner. Anderson, he'll slow it down. Kennedy, the point man. Powers, Willers, back out front. Kennedy in the near corner now. Willers put it up. Myers with it. Flater. And this time the ball stays in the possession of Butterfield Odin. 5.09 left in the third quarter. Myers ran into Anderson. We have a foul called. Bill Anderson. It'll be his first and the first team follow the half. Call to number 43, Bill well, I have to first, take that back. First. Myers from a long way out and the rebound belongs to Lake City. This is Anderson into the front court. Well, they put number 40 up on the board, but there is no number 40 on the floor for Lake City, so it was Bill Anderson, number 43, that drew the foul. Turnover this time by Lake City. Flater hustles it into the front court. Four and a half minutes left to third quarter. Six-point lead for Lake City. And again, Randy Brewer making his presence felt. Lake City has outscored Butterfield Odin here in the third quarter, 4-2. to two. Powers, now Kennedy. Trying to work it in. Lake City turns it over again, trying to force the ball into Randy Brewer. Timeout, Butterfield Odin. Well, they're going to talk it over again. So there's a timeout on the floor. The score, Lake City 25 and Butterfield Odin 19. report to the first day, 25-19 is our score here. Lake City continues to lead. Talked to a couple of coaches downstairs just a moment ago, Joe, and I said, looks to me like Butterfield's doing a good job on Brewer, and they said, I agree. I don't know what else we could do. Uh-uh. And yet the young man, as Al Cassidy says, you look up and he gets the job done. He has 17 points already in the game, and here he goes again. Two more. Foul. Fouls on him, Peck. He just goes to that bucket, Raj. Well, he's right there, and there's not a heck of a lot you can do. You know, we were talking about his physical strength before the game, and he is playing, I think, tonight a lot more physically than he did yesterday. For the frame that he has, he does not look that strong, but he's showing a great deal of strength tonight. I think uh, Jerry Snyder, his coach, was very concerned, as you have indicated, about his stamina, but he seems to be holding up very well right now. Free throw doesn't go. Flater in the front court. Myers from about 28. Hempeck comes away with a rebound. Back out to Flater. Flater and Linside. Now they bring it back to Myers. They've moved Myers out on offense now. Langland into the lane. He went around for it. Nice move. Good move by Brian Langland. Take an alternate route here. Yeah. When the freeway is closed, you go by a side street. 27-21, six-point lead, Lake City. They have had eight-point leads twice in the game. 2.56 left, third quarter. Randy Brewer out a little too far this time. Kennedy, and the rebound comes to Myers. 
Quick release pass to Flater. And he's into front court. Brewer getting back a lot faster in this half on defense. Langland goes over him. And a rebound by Kennedy for Lake City. 27-21. It's one of the few times they've really been able to get the ball over Randy Brewer tonight. Lake City always looking for the big guy. There he is. And he has two more. He has 21 points in the game. And we still have over two minutes to go in the third quarter. Langland just dumped it up. And we have a whistle and a foul called on Hempeck, I believe. Foul against number 54 for Butterfield Oaks, Larry Hempeck. Hempeck His draws the foul. foul. And they're going to go to the bench again. So there's a timeout on the floor. The score, yeah, Lake City 29. And the uh, Butterfield Odin Club with 21. But we're going to stay here, so we will not be returning it to our stations along the line. Now, well, Roger, I think you made a very good point. Uh, Langland and uh, Myers have been playing Brewer as tough as you can play him. But the young man has shown not only a, a great deal of height and uh, physical strength, but he's showing a pretty good shooting eye. Right? Granted, he's very close to the basket, but uh, he hadn't missed many. I don't know that he's going to have any stiffer competition in this tournament that he's facing tonight with mm -hmm. Langland and Myers because both have decent size and are both you know, pretty husky young fellas. And, and both and pretty agile. They move around yeah. pretty good. Obviously, the thing, you, you just simply cannot let him have the ball. If he gets it down low, he's going to score nine times out of ten or whatever percentage is hitting, which is excellent. You just can't let him do it. You have to front him, play behind him, and just try and keep the ball away from him under any circumstance. And he's, too, playing at about 90% mobility with that ankle. He's had some trouble with uh, a bad ankle, but talked to Jerry Snyder about that, and he said it's about 90%. Lake City with a chance to grab their biggest lead of the game. They have an eight-point margin, and they have the ball in the front court. It's Kennedy in the near corner. Brings it back out top to Willers. Powers, Randy Brewer, big hook, in and out. And the rebound belongs to Butterfield Odin. Flater into the front court. Get it underneath to Myers. He tries to go over Brewer. It goes. It will count, and he is fouled by Randy Brewer. Second foul on Brewer. Now this time Myers did get it over him. I guess the other alternative is to get him in foul trouble and get him out of the game, but that's not well, as easy as it sounds so either. So far, he's blocked a lot of shots, and that's only a second foul, so that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem right now. Myers' free throw comes off. Langland rebounds. Hempeck with Brewer there, and Brewer blocks another one. Ball belongs to Butterfield Odin. They trail by six, 29-23. Linscheid with it. Has it back out front. Langland goes over Brewer for two. Langland has 11. Now, I don't know whether that's a sign of fatigue or not, but suddenly they seem to be able to get over Randy Brewer. We'll see. One minute left to go, third quarter, 29-25. Lake City's lead down again to four. Kennedy. And if we seem to be spending a lot of time talking about one man in this ball game, that's him with the ball. Basket count. Myers gets the foul, the basket counts. Well, that's a right good now, illustration Roger, of why we've been talking about him, right? Right. There. That's what I was about to say. He is the ball game to this point. For both clubs, he's the ball game. Right. Brewer should be one. Because for Butterfield Odin to win, they've got to find a way to stop him. And thus far, they have not been able to do it. That's his first free throw tonight. 32-25, seven-point lead again for Lake City. They bring it back out front to Flater. That's kicked. It'll still belong to Butterfield Odin. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Butterfield Odin has never led. Randy Brewer got the game's first basket. They've been in fronts ever since. Myers can't get loose. Another turnover. Kennedy into the front court. 16 seconds left. They'll probably go for one. Seven seconds. 
They'll make their move now. Anderson puts it up, comes off, Brewer rebounds. That won't go down. Rebound belongs to Butterfield Oden. There's the buzzer. That's the end of the third quarter. The score, Lake City, 32, Butterfield Oden, 25. Ray Snyder's coaching I like very much, Joe. If he's got the lead and there are 25 seconds on the clock, he takes that last shot. Yep. So here's two we might get and two you're not going to get. I like and that. And he also leaves enough time for a rebound for Brewer. He'll take the shot, try to get it up with about four seconds to go and time enough for it to come off, yet not really time enough to get back down the floor for the opposing club. Fourth and final quarter. If Butterfield Odin is going to make a move, they're going to have to do it pretty quick. Time is beginning to run out on him. 7.35 left in this one. Lake City content to just toss it around right now, waiting for an opening for Randy Brewer. Brewer comes back up high. Willers powers out front on the left side now. Kennedy just using up time. They've got the lead. Here's Brewer all alone for two. He got behind everybody. 26 points for Randy Brewer. That comes off by Myers. And Pat Kennedy brings the ball into the front court. For the Tigers of Lake City, Flater missed the steal. Kennedy. You know, Butterfield Odin's in trouble right now as it is, but they're very close to getting blown out of this game if they're not very careful. That's a good time Kennedy. And they're going to talk it over, too. There's a timeout on the floor. The score, Lake City, 36, and Butterfield Oden, 25. Butterfield Oden will put it in play. They trail it by 11 at 36-25. Flater gets it over to Linshine. Langland in the lane for two, and he may have drawn the... No, it's not on Randy Brewer. Looked for a moment like he may have drawn the third foul on Brewer, but the foul called instead on Kennedy. Kennedy is first, the team's third. Be a two-shot foul. Langland at the line for two. Langland one for two from the free throw line tonight. Free throw's no good. I have to say one thing, Roger. We have not had a parade to the foul line in this no. game. We really haven't had all day. No. The officials have pretty much let him play. Second one goes down. 12 points for Langland. 36-26. Ten-point lead for Lake City. Their biggest has been 11 just a moment ago. They have never trailed in the game. Brewer couldn't control it, and Myers takes it away. Now the chance for Butterfield Oden to whittle away at that lead with six minutes left in the game. Myers around and in. Kyle Myers has 12 points, 36-28. Eight-point lead, Lake City. Brewer in the backcourt. Gets it up to Willers. Kennedy across the timeline. He'll come back out and he'll go in and set it up. Butterfield Oden now in a man to man. Randy Brewer for two more. Brewer has 28 of the 38 points that Lake City has scored. They lead it again by 10. Myers. Rebound Willers for Lake City. Steve Willers. Well, Roger, we've talked about a man dominating a game, and he certainly has. Indeed. Willers' shot is no good, but Randy Brewer is there. He has 30. Five minutes left in the game, and Randy Brewer with 30 out of the 40 Lake City points. Lake City leads it 40-28. to 28. And we have a foul. Number 11, Craig Powers. Craig Powers with the foul there. He gave it the old who me after that one, but there's not much you, not much you can do in the way of hiding that one. Most points Randy Brewer has ever scored in a game is 35, but he's within five of that right now. He had jump ball in front of the Butterfield Oden basket. Tap controlled by the Indians. And it's still in the possession of Butterfield Oden. Al Cassidy on the bench. 
I talked to Al before the game and he really felt that they could win it that they could control Brewer but they have not been able to 40 to 28 Kennedy with it powers from 22 good Second basket of the game for Powers, and Lake City now leads by 14, 42 28. Save from going out of bounds, and then it went off the fingertips of one of the Lake City players out of bounds and still belongs to Butterfield Odin. Well, right now, Roger, we're within about four minutes of not having an unbeaten team in the state of Minnesota. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people in Lake City are, would be upset with this terminology, but I think the other four guys have played much better tonight than they Absolutely. did yesterday, too. Randy Brewer's gotten a lot more help tonight than he did yesterday. There's the foul. Powers number 11 as the man started his drive, so Langley took the free throw. Now, yeah, Roger, we've talked about this, too, that so often it's so hard to judge a team off their first game in a tournament, and Lake City a pretty good example of that. Pat Kennedy with the ball. Three fifty three left in the game. Lake City in control by fourteen points. Forty two twenty eight. Kennedy shot comes off and Myers rebounds for Butterfield Odin. Time running out on him. Myers from about fourteen. It won't go and Willers has the rebound. Or Kennedy. Well, our second game tonight has Howard Lake Waverly against Breckenridge. And a fall called underneath. Foul called again. Here it is Number again. Kyle Myers. Kyle Myers commits the personal right there. He reached across. Into the Butterfield Oaks lineup. Number 14, Brian Rohr. Second foul on Myers. It's only the fourth team foul on Butterfield Odin. Next foul will put them with Lake City into the bonus. Randy Brewer goes for the basket again. He has eight points in the fourth quarter, 32 in the game. 44-28, 16-point lead now for Lake City, their biggest. Langland has it poked away in front, and Randy Brewer comes away with it. Kennedy fell back in on him and poked the ball loose in front. That's Pat Kennedy with the ball. Brian Rohr on him. Gets it to Brewer again, and this time we'll have a jump ball. He's tied up. Seven foot, one half inch, just a junior, Randy Brewer. 32 points so far tonight out of the 44 that Lake City has. Goes out of bounds. Belongs to Lake City. Got a substitution. Lynchide coming back into the game. Butterfield, Butterfield Odin. Odin. Back in the lineup, number 12, Don Lynchide. And Brian Rohrer goes out. Rohr. They dump it in to Anderson. Randy Brewer, two more. He has 34. 10 in the fourth quarter. 34 points for Randy Brewer. And that one by Flater. His second field goal. 46-30, 16 point lead for Lake City. Brewer with it. Full court press again for Butterfield Odin. Just over two minutes left in the game. Brewer dumps it in to Willers. Pat Kennedy, the baseline. Randy Brewer needs two points to top his all-time high. He has 34. Most he's ever scored is 35. Flater down to pipe. He carried the ball. Brought his hand from the bottom over the top. In the game, number 25 for Lake City. Coming in for Lake City now is Boyd Power. Snyder. And going out is Craig Powers. Snyder comes in and Powers goes out as Jerry Snyder begins to substitute. They're going to go to the benches again. There's a timeout on the floor. The score, 
Lake City 46 and Butterfield Odin 30. Full court press for Butterfield Odin. Kennedy trying to break it, gets it up to Willers. He dumps it into Anderson. Out front to Kennedy. Jim Jensen had 50 points this morning in a consolation game. So Brewer is short of that. Foul ball to number 12, John Lindscheid. But as we watch that foul again on Lindscheid. One and one now for number 31. Pat Kennedy. Pat Kennedy will go to the line. Now Lake City in the bonus situation. His free throw comes off, so he will not get the second. Flater into the front court. They got to get it up and in in a hurry. They're down by a lot. 16. 115 left in the game. Kennedy moves it into the front court. Double teamed. He goes to the baseline. Trying to get it into Brewer. Brewer has it. He goes to the basket. It won't go, but a whistle had sounded earlier, and there's been a foul called. So Randy Brewer will go to the line with a chance now to tie his own personal record and maybe break it. You see the shot just kind of hang there. Brewer is two out of three from the free throw line. Matches his all-time high. He has 35 points for the second time in his career. And if he makes this one, it would set a new personal high for him. 47-30, 17-point lead for Lake City. Bill Anderson has gone out of the game, and he has been replaced by Chip Commodore, number 35. And you see the congratulations being passed up and down the Lake City bench. 36 points now for Randy Brewer. And Randy leaves the game. And listen. Points. 36 points for Randy Brewer and all-time high for Randy. Something that he may surpass, I'm sure, in the years to come. He's just a junior. Scramble underneath. No basket, no basket does not count. 48-30, 18-point lead for Foul. Lake City. Number 35. Foul is called on Commodore, who just came into the game. Commodore. Myers at the line. This free throw comes off. Kyle not having the night that he had last night. Stolen away by Lindscheid. Underneath, Hempeck, and he's clobbered from behind. Commodore with the foul. Foul was called against the Tigers, number 35. Chip His Commodore. second since coming in. 53 seconds left. Larry Hempeck at the line for Butterfield Oak. Don't forget Howard Lake, Waverly, and Breckenridge coming up after this one. Final game of semifinal competition here in Class A. Free throw is good. Larry Hempeck. Hits them both. He has just four points in the game. 48-32, 16-point lead Lake City. And we've got a flood of new players coming on. So Lake City will move into the championship game tomorrow night against the winner of the second game this evening between Howard Lake and Waverly. We'll try to pick up some of the substitutions for you. Uh, Lauren Peters is in there, number 20 for Butterfield Oden. Number 52 is Mike Emmert. Number 50 is uh, Calvin Berg. And let's see who else we can pick up. Roar is back in again. And number 34, Philip Johnson. For Lake City, Number twenty-five. Don Hansen has come in, number 33. Commodore stays in. At the line is Boyd Snyder. And he has his first state tournament points. 49-32. We're missing just one of the changes for Lake City. We'll try to get that for you in a moment. And Haska, Steve Haska, who had just come in the game, he was the fifth change.
for Lake City. Now we're going to get another wave of four more Lake City players coming in with 35 seconds left. 49-32 the score. Lake City leads by 17 points. And let's see. Carl Weinman has come in. Randy Swanson. Uh, Skip Hagseth. Haska at the line. No good. We'll have another player coming in for Haska as soon as he's able to uh, get into the game officially. Second free throw for Haska comes off no good. And the rebound belongs to Butterfield Odin, the traveling violation. Haska will go out now. And coming in for him is Mike Augustinson. And I think we've pretty well covered the Lake City changes. Brad Hubdit is in now for Butterfield Odin. And Terry Wolford's in there. Both coaches getting everybody in the game if they can. Wolford shot deflected, goes out of bounds. It was touched last by Lake City. Doug Meyer is in. See if we can pick up any more changes for you. Shot won't go, and the rebound belongs to Lake City. I think we've hit just about everybody. Philip Johnson out there. Just seven seconds left. And Lauren Peters. So I think we've covered all the changes for you now. 49-32. Lake City leads it by 17 with just five seconds left. Both coaches have emptied their benches. Everybody's played. There's the buzzer. That's the end of the game. The final score, Lake City 49 and Butterfield Odin 32. 9-32, a winner in our ball game here against Butterfield Odin behind, what did we say, 2-4, 6-8, 10, 36 points from Randy Brewer. Down on the floor, Roger Buxton with head coach Jerry Snyder. Jerry, during the course of the game, we talked about it. Very honestly, I don't know how any team could have played you other than Butterfield Odin did. I thought they did a pretty good job. They played us very tough on our uh, center, Randy Brewer, what you're referring to. And we had a great deal of difficulty uh, getting inside until the fourth quarter when we were able to spread them out a little bit. Then we got in. I know that you face this all year, but to us, the only way to prevent Randy Brewer from not scoring is to not let him have the ball. If he gets it, he's probably going to score. You simply have to keep it away from him, right? That's right. With his height, if he gets the ball, he's going to launch his shot. So prevention probably is the best way to defend him. Do you voice some uh, reservations, perhaps, about his stamina, some concern about it? But he looked pretty strong tonight, I thought. I thought he held up better tonight than he did in the Glen Cole game. One reason was tonight's game was not the same fast tempo as Glenwood, but uh, we got a ball game tomorrow afternoon, and uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that. One thing, I know the people in, in uh, Lake City are going to be angry with me for using this phrase, but I thought your other four guys, to use that phrase, played better tonight than they did yesterday. I think uh, some of our people had a uh, little bit of tightness, a little bit of tournament jitters against Glen Cole, but uh, they were more relaxed tonight, and as a result, did play better. This is my opinion, of course, but... I think in your position with your seven foot man, Randy Brewer, you're in a position where the other team has to come to you. You can dictate the pace of the game if you, if you get ahead. That's true. We generally have been successful in dictating the tempo, and of course, that's to our advantage. Well, it's a big uh, game for Randy and a big win for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Coach Jerry Snyder of Lake City. Lake City is the first Class A finalist this year. Back up to Joe. And we will add our congratulations to Jerry Snyder and the Tigers of Lake City. Final score again, 49-32, favor of Lake City. They are in the finals of the Class A division. This is the 1978 Minnesota State High School Basketball Tournament.